everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Astartes Analysis. I'm your host, the OT Astartes. Now, um, I decided to watch some Matt Smith Doctor Who the other day, so the 11th hour and the beast below, and I thought it would be really nice that if I reviewed the annual from 2011, so this would, would have been the Doctor Who annual from when Matt Smith started as the Doctor, but you know, annuals always come out the year before because it's a Christmas thing. So yeah, um, now well, I'm also going to take a bit of a break from Hetty Feather as well because I know it's been a while since I produced um, content of a Starties analysis that talks about the episode of Hetty Fe- um, Feather's many episodes. Um, I'm going to carry on watching a bit more. I haven't really had the time to watch any Hetty Feather. So when I've watched a bit more, so I've got to the end of season two and I'll, as I venture into mid season three, I think that's when I'm going to pick up again. But it's also, but also it's coming up to the Doctor Who 60th and I want to produce content related to Doctor Who. So the front cover is good old Matt Smith. Look at that. New Doctor, bigger annual, double-sided poster. And this is my favourite console room. I remember playing this in the adventure games when you'd have an entire um, episode dedicated to the TARDIS. And at the end, you'd have this interactive console where you could pretend to fly the TARDIS. I'd always pretend to uh, pilot the TARDIS and press all the buttons. Yeah, I know a few people don't like this console room, but I think it was a bit of a change from Tennant and Eccleston's. But yeah, I, I love this console room. I think out of the two Matt Smith consoles, this has to be my favourite of the two. So then we have uh, the contents, and look, I've still got that Sonic screwdriver. Well, when I say I've still got, I mean, I've got the 12th Doctors, but it also counts as the 11th Doctors. So then we open with Adventures in Time and Space. Regeneration is a time of change and renewal, and 2010 has brought a new Doctor to our television screens. Yet he's still the same Doctor as the first appeared on television nearly 50 years ago. So much is new, but much stays the same. Well, until Jodie came along... And then a nice picture of Amy Pond, looking really, looking really nice there. Oh, another one of Amy Pond. Uh, Rory Williams, blimey, an Amy Pond gallery here. So they're talking about um, the adventures and a bit of a series recap. Now, in the 11th hour, I noticed that... um, Prisoner Zero, well, Prisoner Zero when he possessed Olivia Coleman, I think. Um, she w- she referenced all three Matt Smith series in one sentence. So Silence Will Fall, obviously with the wedding of River Song and the silence. Um, the Pandorica will open, which is obviously the Pandorica opens. And she said, an- and she said another line that was a reference to, oh yeah, the crack. When she was talking about the crack, of course, the crack is a reference to the ending of the time of the Doctor. Um, And then, of course, we have all the adventures up to... um, Yeah, with Rory. No, a thing of a... a, um, Diary entry of Amy and Rory. And then Doctor Who in numbers. So Prisoner Zero is the first enemy that the Doctor encounters. This is very, this is so clever. Uh, Number one, Time Lord. The Doctor is the last of his kind. Um, Well, that's wrong because look who's standing in the corner here. Looking really happy. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and then we've got basically Doctors by Numbers. And then, oh yeah, and they reference the end of time as well. And then, yeah, all about the crack and young Amelia Pond. 
Um, and then goodbye, Ledworth. Hello, everything. This has got to be my favourite Matt Smith poster because he's just running away, f- you know, sprinting like the Doctor should and Amy Pond's beside him as well. And I like the Time Vortex design in this as well. Then we have the Smilers and Winders. And then the Paradigm Daleks. Uh, Weeping Angels, Silurians, the Dream Lord and the Vampires of Venice. And we have some mini games here and post of the Paradigm Daleks. Um, Crossword, uh, Guess the Shadow. <coughs> and then we have the Paradigm Daleks. Now, I actually liked the Paradigm Daleks, even though, yeah, they did look like Dalek Power Rangers. Go, go, Dalek Rangers! Exterminate! Form the Dalek Megazord! White Dalek Ranger Power! Yellow Dalek Ranger Power! Uh, yeah, I like the Paradigm units and I still have um, a Dalek Paradigm figure that I've, that will feature in Gallifrey Falls. And then we've got all, yeah, the Paradigm Daleks. A nice little story talking about a Gallifrey fairy tale. Which featured a monster from suit from the Van Gogh episode. And then a good old word search. Little comic here. This is when Doctor Who co- annuals in comics really started to change. So Doctor Who comic and no comics in Doctor Who annuals started to change a bit. And then a personality test. So, uh, let's go. So, we'll start. Do you like to travel? No. Are you always loyal? Yes. Do people come to you with their problems? Not generally. Do you have anything sonic? No. Do you keep secrets? Yeah, we all have secrets. And I do sometimes crave a quiet life. Have you met the perfect partner? Not yet. You're most like the Doctor. With a keen sense of adventure, you're always ready to take the next challenge, whatever it may be. Don't forget that time travelling is always more fun with friends. Yeah. Um, Silurians. And the Sea Devils as well. And then we have the Dalek Ironsides. Uh, Professor Bracewell. A telephone call game connecting uh, Winston Churchill to someone. And then Silurians Reawakening. And then a maze of monsters from this season. Uh, The Lonely Assassins on about Weeping Angels. Ah, Sarah Jane Adventures. I miss Elizabeth Sladen. Yeah, I tell you what. I was watching an interview with Elizabeth Sladen and Tom Baker, and it's clear to see when Tom Baker was talking about her he got emotional about her because, you know, they had a close friendship. Yeah, Sarah Jane is one of the most iconic characters in Doctor Who history. And then, yeah, we've got here a shot of Journey's End or School Reunion. No, it's Journey's End, isn't it? Um, K-9, the Sonic Lipstick. Mr. Smith, voiced by Alexander Armstrong. Uh... The Scanner Watch. And then we have some of her friends, well, companions. Luke Smith, 
Clyde, and then Rani. And then, of course, David Tennant's Doctor. And then this is all dedicated to Sarah Jane. Um, so the star poet, Eve, uh, a Jadoon, Captain Tybo, and the villains. Now, this is Bradley Walsh. I'm, I'm not kidding. This character was played by Bradley Walsh. That's what one thing I noticed when he was announced as a companion for the Jody era. When when I saw when I saw he was a, like, has anyone mentioned that he's been in Doctor Who before? He played the clown, which which is why when I first watched the chase, I was like, he looks familiar. Oh wait, he was in Sarah Jane Adventures. And then we have I kind of wish they could bring this guy back because this would make a great Doctor Who villain for. I don't know, the Eighth Doctor. And then the Trickster. It's a shame that he wasn't, uh, isn't associated with the silence. Because that's sort of a prophecy within itself, then a story. And then the Pandorica. We have glimpses of the people that the villains that showed up in that episode. So Paradigm Daleks, Sontarans, Jadoon. And then historical figures that have met the Doctor. So Churchill, Van Gogh, Charles Dickens, William Shakespeare, Agatha Christie, and Queen Victoria. And then, oh, here we go. Uh, monster maze where we have to find the doctor i kind of wish that they could bring back the uvodny because <coughs> they were underused and underrated and we haven't seen the weevils in doctor who yet yeah i think the uvodny should at least make one appearance and then a uh, weeping angel poster and then uh, monsters all merged with other things. I like the Amy one. I like the Amy and Weeping Angel hybrid. I think that's very clever. That's very good. Very clever. And then draw something. Another comic. And then um, spot the difference. And a decoder for when Amy and Rory are getting married. And then continuation of the story. And a make your own raggedy 11th Doctor. And then another spot the difference. And then a, a crossword to do with the, a little... Um, quiz for finding out who the doctor is um and then an escape game kind of like snakes and ladders and the answers and then we've got some more books here so uh tardis traveler guide empire of the wolf and a decide your destiny jadoon monsoon and there we go and then there's Amy Pond to close the book. Um, so, yeah, uh, that just about ends this video here. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later. So goodbye, good night and follow the buzzards.